Our next boxer is a former Olympian and undefeated in 33 professional fights. He's making a habit of going to people's countries as an underdog and scoring the upset win. And we fully anticipate that's going to happen again this weekend. Um, with no further ado, Leonard Bondu. Hello everybody, um, thank you, I'm really super excited to be here, and uh, thank Golden Boy, Alemon, Bella, Ray Bentley, and thank you so much, I'm, uh, I'm here to, you know, for some respect, people who think I'm, uh, I'm 40 years of age, but do I look 40, I look, uh, I look way younger, I feel younger, and uh, I know it's a hard test for me on Saturday, but I'm going to give it uh, all I have, and uh, I'm coming for win. And like uh, Len Wittai said, he's the partisan, I'm the wine. As I age, I get better. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Now he is fighting probably one of the most exciting fighters in boxing today. Everybody loves watching him fight because he brings power, he brings speed, but he also has skill. You know, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that we can probably be witnessing one of the you know future world champions. Could be, but but Saturday night he's got a tough, stiff fight in front of him. You know, but that's who he is, that's who he wants to fight. He wants all comers, he wants to fight the very best. He wants actually to be in a tough fight. The power, the speed, the intelligence. He won the WBA interim world title um, with a 10th round knockout over Diego Chavez uh, in July uh, 2013. An exciting fight, I mean, he hasn't been in a dull fight probably his whole career. He just gives us those entertaining fights that we just, you know, we, we, we must watch him. We have to watch him, you know. And uh, he's only 26 years old, has not even hit his peak. He's had two successful defenses against Jesus Soto Caras and Julio Diaz. So this Saturday night, he knows it's a very important fight. All eyes will be on this card. And, uh, you know, whatever happens on Saturday night, you know, you move on to that world title fight and you move on to bigger and better things for both guys. So there's a lot at stake. With a record of 23 and 0, 21 knockouts out of Clearwater, Florida, keep one time, Thurman. Thank you, Oscar, for those kind words. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you, thank you my team. Thank you, Team Heyman. Thank you, MGM Grand. I'm excited to be here. This is my third time just being here uh, this year. I was here for both Mayweather fights, and I'm truly excited to be the co-main event. Um, me and my team, we're really looking forward to getting back in the ring Saturday night um, after a, a slight eight month layoff. Um, for those who are wondering about my shoulder, it's fine and you'll see it working pretty well in a few days here. Um, like Oscar said, man, I'm excited. I come to fight. I'm looking for uh, tough challengers. Um, I really would be like to fight this guy right here, or that guy right there, but you know, obviously we can't make that happen right now. But uh, at the end of the day, I told my team, we gotta fight a respectable guy, I don't care where you get him from, you know, I wanna fight somebody that's undefeated. I'm undefeated, I like fighting undefeated fighters. It's, um, <coughs> this might be the fourth, four, I wanna say the fourth, possibly, the fifth undefeated fighter uh, in my career. I'd have to look at it. I'm not paying attention. I'm just running through a lot of people right now. Um, you know, 
I know the fans are itching to see me back in the ring. I know the fans are truly looking forward to 2015, but you know, you guys gotta tune in Saturday night here on Showtime at the MGM Grand, man. It's gonna be a, a great fight. Um, like I said, Bundu's an Olympian. Um, it was my dream to try to make it to the Olympics um, in 08. I fell short, so I'm actually extremely excited to um, get to gauge my skills and my talents up against an ex-Olympian. Um, I'm truly blessed to be where I am today, and uh, like always, man, show up, get the popcorn, get your beer, hold your pee, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because if you don't, you just might miss it. It's one time, every time. Chaos for life. Don't blink. Thank you, everybody.